major cause of seawall failure often stems from soil erosion. As tides rise and fall, soils, water, and gravity work to equalize pressure on both sides of the wall. If the pressure is not equal on both sides of the seawall, this tidal action can cause soil to be sucked through the joints between the seawall slabs and be deposited on the water side. In turn, this creates underground voids in the soil of your yard, which you will see from above as sinking ground, depressions, or small potholes near the seawall, which can sometimes extend several feet into your yard. As this pit grows, it can compromise the underground anchor system that keeps your seawall in place. Without support from this anchoring system, the seawall is at the mercy of the relentless tidal motion and will soon crumble and fall into the water. At this point, total replacement is the only very expensive and very intrusive option. Another common major problem is the corrosion of the metals used in the underground anchoring system of the seawall. The most popular technique to keep seawalls in place was to use regular rebar attached to the seawall at one end, running back into the yard underground and attached to a small block of cement at the other end. This rebar is not meant for ground contact and over time will corrode to the point where it snaps. Once this occurs, your seawall is freestanding without anchoring and due to the tidal pressures will eventually fall or crumble into the water. Quite often, the seawall disrepair problem is a combination of both of these major factors, but there can be other, more minor issues as well. Because these are complex issues and the signs and symptoms are not always evident, it is important to have your seawall evaluated by a trained professional to determine exactly what the problem is and what can be done about it. Contact Ramjack today for a free on-site analysis and evaluation and let us find the right solution for you. Ramjack your local foundation and seawall repair experts.